Well, uh, good morning, guys. Uh, this morning, uh, we're going to go ahead and start working on this. Uh, I think it's a 2014 Dodge 1500. And I believe it's got a 3.6 little uh, six-cylinder. Uh, on this one, guys, uh, the timing chains are making a nasty noise. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take it apart and uh, see if we can replace this chain today. All right. I kind of already started. I removed the air cleaner box and uh you know air cleaner hosing stuff like that i already started loosening these eight millimeter little bolts holding that upper intake uh it's got seven bolts holding it down and then it's got two anchor bolts on a bracket here and two further down in the back let me go ahead and start getting those and uh i'm gonna get most of the disassembly in uh time lapse uh and i'll go ahead and slow it down once we get once we get to the timing chains all right Let's go ahead and get started, guys. And just so you guys know, uh, these are the two bolts that are holding on to the upper intake. And then there's two over here in back that you can barely see. But there's two 10 millimeter bolts holding it right there. So let me go ahead and get those off. next thing we're going to do is since we are going to do the timing cover uh, timing cover both valve covers have to come off that little uh lower intake plenum doesn't have to move at the moment we're going to go ahead and get those two valve covers off once we do we'll go ahead and start addressing the front of the engine timing cover and all this little pump brackets and stuff get them out of the way but let me go ahead and get these valve covers off first i'm going to go ahead and do them on time lapse again uh and well let me get this it's got this little freaking foam little pad i'm gonna go Well, guys, there's one valve cover. I still got to get the other one, so. breather in the back of the valve cover that you have to remove it's got t25 little torques it's got two little screws you got to pull that off in order to be able to get that valve cover out so that's always giving me a little bit of problems i forgot to remove it but i'll show you guys that little piece when we start putting it back together i'll make sure and i'm uh show you what that what that little piece looks like uh right now i got both covers off I'm going to go ahead and get this little vacuum pump for the booster off, uh, move some of these, you know, things out of the way and get the belt off, tensioner off, so on and so forth. I don't know if the customer's going to want to replace that water pump, but uh, we'll figure that one out when we get there. Uh, let me go ahead and continue tearing this one apart, guys. Uh, let me go ahead and do a little bit of real-time recording. No time lapse, so let me see what we can get here. All right, what we got here is that little air pump, little booster auxiliary pump, whatever you want to call it. 10 millimeter bolts.
I'm gonna have to work around these AC lines. I don't wanna have to recover the refrigerant and then I'm gonna try and see if I can just work around them. disconnect and push out of the way come on baby there you go <laughs> I'll just push it out of the way I gotta get this bracket off uh, let me get those easy lines up bend them just a tiny bit you got two 17 millimeter for this bracket here let me go ahead and get those off Sixteens, not seventeens. We still got quite a bit to go, guys. I'm barely scratching the... This is the start of this one. I'm looking at that crankshaft pulley bolt. Maybe a 27 millimeter. I'm just trying to... Kind of visually get an idea of what we need so we can... pants coming down after this I'm gonna go ahead and drain the coolant I don't want I don't think this truck's ever been flushed out so I'm gonna go ahead and drain the whole thing before we put it back to oh when I put it back together before I put the new coolant in there I'll go ahead and flush out the system get whatever debris I can get out of it might as well just all right here's this bracket let me toss this off to the side the shoe guys let me go ahead and uh, drain that coolant and I'll be back with you guys in a bit
Well guys, uh, let me go ahead and get that harmonic balancer. That's a 27 millimeter bolt. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a half inch drive impact, little battery powered little drive tool.
as you can see this thing is just all silicone so you have to persuade it all the way out and careful not to overdo it because if you crack that timing cover well then you just gonna have to buy yourself a new one so you don't want to do that so break that seal between the silicone and the aluminum housing they had already worked on this one because oh. Yes, humming covers off. Whew. That was a, somewhat of a pain in the ass, but it's all. Uh, I'll leave that gasket under for now. And let's see if we can spot anything wrong with this because this thing was rattling. Uh, there it goes. This one's a little loose. This one's all right. And this one down here is very loose, but this one doesn't apply that much pressure. It's just for the oil pump. Shoot guys. We're gonna have to tear this one apart. I can't rem I don't know what is causing the rattling noise I can't yet see if I know if it's a worn tensioner, worn guide, worn arm. So once we take it apart, we'll go ahead and inspect them and we'll try and figure out what the hell was causing all that rattle. All right. uh, the timing chain kit that they bought uh, comes with all the chains, all the guides, tensioners. It does not come with uh, the variable little uh, sprockets on the camshafts. Well, I'll get back with you guys in a bit. Let me take a little break. Well, guys, uh, we're already here. Chains are exposed. I already started taking that oil pan down. I haven't taken it off completely. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close this video. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close it off and call this, uh, you know, tearing down or tearing apart a Dodge 3 uh, Ram 3.6. And I'll go ahead and uh, do the chains on an, another video, guys. This was a little bit too long already, so let me go ahead and close it off here. All right, oh, there you go. We actually exposed we removed all the parts to expose the timing chains on a 3.6 liter it's a 2015 ram pickup truck 3.6 liter six cylinder v6 